If you've never seen these metal 3D models before, then you will be surprised how intricate and detailed they can be. In this video, I'll show you how to convert one into a cool looking fridge magnet. It will be unlike any other fridge magnet you have since it's not molded from cheap plastic. It's like the Ferrari of fridge magnets. Not mass produced, but hand assembled by you. It's a great little project for when you have some time to kill or have to stay at home. Or just stick it back on the stand and display it on your desk. Fracking Creations, a YouTube variety channel that touches different parts of your life. Want more videos on DIY? Subscribe to the channel or check out our website. I won't be showing how to make the model here as the instructions are pretty straightforward and different models will be assembled differently, but do be careful as the edges are sharp. There are many different models available from cars to planes, famous buildings to Star Trek and Star Wars. So find your favorite one and make it into a unique fridge magnet. Just apply a similar method to installing a magnet for different models. It took us about three hours to build this, two and a half to three hours between two people. So here's our completed Millennium Falcon. Very detailed and very nice. And one thing you can do, as you can see here, this is a, with its base attached. Normally if you follow the instructions, the base cannot come off. But we did our own little modification where you can take it off. And then when you're done with it, you just put the base back on like that and stand it. So we'll put this in here like that. Watch. Now, just need to place like this, and there you go. Perfect. But we're going to do another mod later where the magnet will be placed on the underside of this in the inside so that you can actually just stick it on the fridge as a fridge magnet. Wouldn't this make a cool fridge magnet? Use a Zacto knife and carefully lift each of these tabs, not making sure not to cut yourself. And then you can straighten these uh, tabs up. And then you should be able to remove this panel. Like so. So I'm just gonna use some shoe glue. Uh, normally used for shoes, but you can use anything like silicone glue too. So that'll work as well. One thing to note is that when you have your rare earth magnet and you have your base here, when you start to apply the glue on and you stick this on, it will snap on. So you have to make sure you position it well before you let that happen. If you have some sort of a spatula-like tool like this, it works best. And you can uh, apply it very easily. One thing to note too, is that there are holes underneath. When you put the magnet on, it might push some of the glue out. So you might have to wipe that after. We want to center it as much as we can. Now we just need to let this dry. So this has been glued on. It hasn't fully cured yet, but enough for it to be solidly attached. And we're going to put this back uh, the right way back on top. See how it's very easy. It just wants to stick. So that's why we need it to cure before we start to attach this because we don't want the magnet to get dislodged. And to get all the tabs in line and you see it's very annoying because it wants to stick to every metal piece on this you're gonna have to press this down when you when you have it in because it's gonna try to pop off when you let go using your standard way of attaching this make sure everything's tight before you bend the tabs now we're done now we have a fridge magnet. Isn't that cool? Can't even tell 